Good morning, boys and girls. Today we're going to do a book called Firefighter Ted. Uh, he's dressed in his uniform, and he has two little doggies and a tricycle. Firefighter Ted. And the uh, writer of this book is Andrea Beatty, and the illustrator is Parcel Lamatrice. One morning, Ted woke up and sniffed the air. It smelled like smoke. Wow. That's not good, thought Ted. I need a firefighter. As you see, Ted's smelling the smoke. Uh -huh. Ted looked everywhere, but he couldn't find one. And since Ted couldn't find a firefighter, he became a firefighter. But every firefighter needs a fire truck. Look at Ted. Ted is dressed for the occasion. Let's see what Ted does. It says, Firefighter Ted found a fire truck. That was lucky, he thought. I need a fire extinguisher, too. I don't know if you guys are familiar with a fire extinguisher, but I'm going to show you what it looks like. Firefighter Ted looked everywhere else. Since he couldn't find a fire extinguisher, he made one. Now, where is that fire, thought Firefighter Ted. Firefighter Ted searched the house. The kitchen was filled with smoke. It rose from a plate on the stove. Oh, wow. That could have been dangerous. Stand back, shouted Firefighter Ted. He put out the toast and helped his mother to safety. Oh, isn't that nice? That was your breakfast, said his mother. It still is, said Firefighter Ted, and now it's nutritious and safe. Go to school, said his mother. Remember, said Firefighter Ted, only you can prevent breakfast fires. <laughs> he messed his breakfast up, but he was trying to help mom. It was very hot outside. The sidewalk sizzled and hurt Firefighter Ted's feet. He saw a kitten on the hot sidewalk. It needed help. Wow, look at the kitten. It fire, the uh, sidewalk must be mighty hot. The Firefighter Ted rescued the kitten and two puppies and three tricycles. Wow, he was very helpful on that day. All right, let's see what happens after Firefighter Ted does all this helping with people. The crowd was speechless. Wow, they're watching him as he rescued all these different animals and tricycles. No need to thank me, said Firefighter Ted, and he waved to the crowd. Mm. Principal Bingham was speechless. He pointed to Mrs. Johnson's room. No need to thank me, said Firefighter Ted. Mrs. Johnson's students were in the line at the door. They were going to see the science fair exhibits in the cafeteria. They were waiting on him. They were waiting on Ted. A parade, shouted Firefighter Ted. Firefighters always lead parades. Firefighter Ted led the parade down the hall. Hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo. All the other classes came out to watch. Everyone loves a parade, said Firefighter Ted. And he waved to the crowd. Firefighter Ted looked around the cafeteria. There was danger everywhere. Wow, look. He said there was danger everywhere in the cafeteria. Let's see what Firefighter Ted does. Volcanoes. Yelled Firefighter Ted. He jumped into action. Firefighter Ted stopped the volcanoes from erupting and helped the students to safety. They were speechless. No need to thank me, said Firefighter Ted. Suddenly, Firefighter Ted smelled something burning. A thin stream of smoke rose from Principal Big Ham's pants. Wow. You think his pants is on fire? Let's see. 
The smoke got thicker and thicker. His fans got hotter and hotter. Principal Big Ham ran this way and that. Help, he yelled. Call a tailor, call the janitor, call the librarian. Just call somebody. He's burning right about now, my friends. He's burning. Let's see what happens. But Firefighter Ted was already there. He helped the principal to safety. Look at there. Look. Mm-hmm. He pulled the fire alarm and started the fire sprinklers. That was smart. Very smart. Just then, the tailor arrived with a janitor and a librarian. You need pants, said the tailor, and a mop, said the janitor. <laughs> he told him everything he needed. My work here is done, said Firefighter Ted. You can help keep the fire extinguisher. And remember, only you can prevent pants fires. While <laughs> he showed him how not to keep his pants on fire. The night Ted put away his fire truck and went to bed knowing he had done a good job. He lay awake for a very long time. There is so much to know about fire safety, he thought. A poster could help everyone understand. Wow. Wonder who Ted will help, will need to help next. Ah. Wow, we learned about the safety of Ted being a firefighter. I thought that was a pretty good little book. I hope you enjoyed it too. Have a good day.